Hi, people. What's going on? It's been a while since I've done a little vlog. I want to talk about something briefly. Now, I'm not a very political person. I'm, um, sorry, I'm very tired. I'm not a very political person, but I certainly know my views on certain things, on a lot of particular things, and I certainly know where I stand. I do wish I stayed a lot more informed, but I don't, sadly. But uh, certain things just seem to keep on popping up that just start to just really annoy the piss out of you. And here's one thing. I keep on seeing this ad all over YouTube whenever I'm about to watch a video or whatever. Obama wants to take away your guns. Mike Simpson says no. Sponsored by the NRA. Because we want looser gun control options. And then, today there was a documentary or a story on CNN about uh, somewhere in Chicago about how there was a shooting at a school. And the man who perpetrated the crime had previously gone to jail before for a similar gun felony because gun laws in, in, in Chicago are very loose where it's apparently the, it's perfectly legal for you to carry a concealed gun. It's perfectly legal for, for anybody to carry a concealed gun. I don't know how particular laws work in other states but uh, something I do understand is that there are certain people who are perfectly okay with anybody getting their hands on any type of a firearm, be it a simple handgun or perhaps even military firepower. You know, such as, uh, you know, high-caliber rifles and shit like that. Now, I'm an, and I can understand wanting a gun for home protection. You don't need a high-powered rifle for home protection. You can have a pistol, a simple pistol for home protection. You can have a hunting rifle for when you're going hunting. But what's just so fucking ridiculous is that the people that are willing to you know, throw their money and, and their opinion into saying that, oh, well, government wants to take away our guns. Well, you're not taking away my guns. Of course, the people that will always fight the hardest will always be the rich white people because they need their guns. They don't give a shit about the rest of us. You know, they don't you know, they don't give a shit about us, you know, getting getting access to high power weapons and murdering each other. Oh no 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 no, they don't give a shit about that. So I just find the whole argument just utterly ridiculous. And the and the NRA's argument whatever their argument may be, the fact that they're perfectly okay with anybody should be able to get access to a gun, because that's your right as an American. That's fucking idiotic. Not everybody should get access to a firearm. I've never experienced tragedy in my life, but for people who have ever lost children or family members because some asshole with a criminal record was able to get access to a high caliber weapon just so easily and then decided I'm going to go shoot up a school. And they practically get a slap on the wrist. It's just ridiculous. It is insulting. It's, it's just incredibly idiotic. And the fact that some people are perfectly okay with anybody getting their hands on a gun is just laughable. I'm sorry, I just wanted to get that crap off my chest, because 
Now again, I don't know lo I don't know a lot about laws, but I do know not everybody should have access and especially so easily to a gun. I don't own a gun. I will admit, you know, being being a young man, I would I would maybe like to own a gun someday, but there is that stupid part of my brain that said, if you owned a gun, you'd be fucking around with it constantly. You'd be like, dude, look at my gun, look at my gun, and then I accidentally shoot myself. So that's just one more reason to not own a gun for stupid shit like that. But especially people who have people who committed repeated felonies with firearms, people that have murdered other people with firearms. The fact that in some cases and in some states, it's so easy for you to get for you to get a gun. It's utterly laughable. It just proves again and again, and you see so many of the cases that the rich get away with whatever the fuck they want because they're rich, and the rest of us do the smallest thing. Hell, you, uh, hell, the story that I heard a while ago about the rich young kid who got drunk, got behind the wheel of a car, killed four people. Gets a slap on the wrist. Because he's rich, and because, well, he never really knew anything about consequences, but because he was always oh so privileged, I think he got maybe some odd several months of probation. That's it. No jail time. Nothing. No real punishment. And yet, common guy gets busted for urinating in public. Gets, I think, gets like quite a few months in prison and a pretty hefty fine because where he peed happened to be a historic landmark. Oh, but if you're rich and you murder people, well, that's perfectly fine. Things have got to change. But then again, this shit happens all the time. And you hear about it all the time. that sort of crap that just pisses you off. So I apologize that this is not my usual schlock. But, god damn, that crap just pisses you off. Alright. Well, that's it for that rant. I'm going to get back to trying to relax and... Here's my day off. And I had no plans to record, so I did nothing with with my hair or anything like that. At least I shaved yesterday before I recorded. So, at least it's still clean shaven. I don't look like a freaking hobo. Uh, well, I'm going to leave it at that. I do have some other videos c coming up, some other projects I'm going to be working on. I just have to get that crap off my chest because the world is full with a lot of really stupid, ignorant people. And sadly, a lot of those people, sometimes, they get away with really dumb shit. Now, take care, world, and sleep. And try to sleep well. <laughs>